In today's session, we shall be looking at a very simple yet very popular strategy of cooperative learning. The strategy is called as Think, Pair, Share. The content is Introduction, Steps for Think, Pair, Share Strategy, Prerequisites for Think, Pair, Share Strategy, Advantages of Think, Pair, Share Strategy and Limitations of Think, Pair, Share Strategy. At the end of this session, you will be able to explain what is Think Pair Share Strategy, comment on prerequisites for the Think Pair Share Strategy, list out the advantages and discuss the limitations of Think Pair Share Strategy. Think Pair Share Strategy of Cooperative Learning is a very simple strategy that can be used by a facilitator at all levels of teaching. It can be used for all the subjects also and it is a strategy which strongly encourages individual participation along with participation of the entire group. In this strategy, students are given an idea in the form of a cue that could be a question or a situation. Students are expected to think about the same and share their ideas among themselves. Let us have a look at this diagram in order to understand Think Pair Share Strategy in a better manner. Think Pair Share Strategy functions in three distinct steps. The first step is Think. At this stage, the teacher poses a question or she may present a situation which requires the individual to reflect on it individually. At this junction, the teacher can also provide material for the students to read or to observe. Individuals are expected to read this individually and reflect upon and ponder upon and jot down whatever is felt by them with respect to the stimulus provided to them. The second step is that of pair. After having thought individually, the students pair up with someone sitting next to them. Every member of the pair shares whatever they have thought with each other. The first partner shares and discusses the probable ideas or thoughts with the next partner. The second partner does the same thing with the first partner. In this way, in the pairing, the students share ideas with each other. The third step is that of sharing. The pairs who have shared the ideas with each other now shares their collective thoughts with other pairs sitting next to them. Once this sharing within the pairs is over, the teacher can put all the students together and the sharing then happens with the large group. In this way, in a step-by-step -step manner, an individual's ideas are put forth the entire group. Before introducing the think pair share strategy, the teacher must keep some pointers in mind. First and foremost, she should familiarize the entire group with the steps that they need to follow. Also, she needs to provide with the learning material to the students so that the students can indulge in individual thinking, sharing with pairs and then sharing with the entire group. The teacher should also formulate questions as cues for the students to think in a particular direction. In order to ensure the effectiveness of think, pair and share strategy, the teacher can put on the board or on a chart paper or display the specific steps of the strategy so that the students follow the strategy in a systematic manner. She may also provide time limit for each of the steps so that the students can effectively organize themselves and complete the task within the specified time. She needs to provide transition cues so that the students move from one step to another step in a systematic manner. In this way, the teacher can ensure that the entire class functions together, works together and moves through the steps of the technique in an effective way so that the learning goal can be achieved by each and every member of the class. The teacher can also specify the evaluation criteria. 
in the beginning of the session itself. This will enable the students individually as well as in pairs as well as together in group to visualize and think how they need to perform in order to ensure the achievement of their goals in a successful manner. Think pair share is a very popular strategy. At the same time, it's a very simple strategy and has several advantages such as think pair share or as it is popularly called as TPS engages all students from the classroom. Quite a students get an opportunity to voice their opinion. Misconceptions of students can be rectified immediately. It encourages and supports higher levels of thinking. Think pair and share strategy thus ensures that participation is both at the individual level as well as at the group level. But at the same time, there are some limitations of this strategy. Since the strategy involves sharing of ideas, listening to each other, at times it may happen that the classroom can be noisy. But let us remember that this strategy is based upon social dialogue. It's only by talking to each other related to the task that is given one learns from each other. There could also be a chaos as students are involved in exchanging of information with each other. Also, there has to be some sort of time limit provided for each of these steps. At times, if the task is huge, it might create a time pressure on some of the students who might take longer time to process the information. So, think parent shared strategy can be effectively and very easily used by any teacher at any level. This also does not require too much of reorganization of the classroom furniture. Also, Think Pair and Share strategy has an extension in the form of Think Pair and Square. So instead of having two students working together, one could have four students working together in a square. So we find that the thinking, the pairing, can happen in a square and then the sharing could happen with the entire group.